So we're doing an inside project today. And uh, if you haven't noticed, all the stink bugs are coming out in droves. They're crazy. So we are trying to figure out ways to deal with that. And Marina had an idea. And uh, so she's going to talk about what we're doing. So today we're going to be building bat boxes, pretty much like a little house for all like the little bats in the area to live in. The types of bats that lives in our area are little brown bats and big brown bats. Little brown bats are only awake for about four hours a day, and big brown bats, it's pretty similar. They eat about a thousand bugs an hour, so that's like 4,000 bugs. In so they're awake. they're awake for four hours, and all they do is eat bugs, and then they sleep the rest of the time. Yeah. So we want to build them a little house uh, that we got plans for. And this little house, I think, can hold a, like a whole colony of bats, like 100 or 200 or however many. It's a four-chambered nursery house, and we got the plans from batcon.org. I'll leave a link to that. And uh, we don't have quite all the wood we need, but we're going to use a bunch of the scrap that I have, and we're going to cut, cut some of these parts and get ready to uh, put this thing together. So the first thing calls for a 1x6, 8-foot board, and these plans provide materials and cut lists and everything enough to make two bat boxes, but we're only going to make one today. So first thing we got to do is measure and mark up a board. I have a piece of poplar here that I've had forever. Perfect for what we're going to do. So we're going to mark it up and do it. Four and an eighth. And tighten it down like that. Then you can take this, hold that board so it doesn't move. Squeeze that. There we go. 25. Okay, this side we'll say is 23. And then this side we got a 25. Connect these two to make your angle. So this is a side, this is a side, and that's your roof angle. So we cut that. Two side pieces. Hold this down, start to saw and bring it down. Alright. Good job. Alright, so now we gotta do these little side vents. We start there. And it's six inches long, so you go to eleven. It has to be a half inch deep. Now we've got to figure out how to cut this out. So these are the sides and we're going to cut this vent. i got both sides stacked together. This is a half inch in, or half inch deep. Six inches, and it's five inches up from the bottom. So when you want to make a turn, you got to go that way. This saw is good for that, but you got to get this little piece out to make enough room for the blade. So we need to make six 20 inch long pieces that are an inch and a quarter wide for our spacers inside the box. So we've got some scrap, uh, what is this, one by two. So if we rip these in half, all three of these we should have our six pieces. First we need to make them 20 inches. The easiest way to do that is come over here, put that on 20, and the clamp back here, put that right there on 20, clamp it down, lift that up, butt all these up against that, and Get your tape measure. And double check, put it up against that, 
Let's put this end up against that. Over here. Here. Like this. And then hold it down. There you go. That's pretty close to 20. It's like a, an eighth or a sixteenth off. So I'll hold it and you cut it. Go. Okay. 20 inch pieces. Now I gotta rip these in half. You do it three times, eventually you get it right. All right, now we're making the interior partitions and you have to cut little grooves in it so that they can grab onto it like bark. So to do that, I'm over here on this saw, set the saw stop depth. So it just kind of cuts a little 16 inch groove and we just kind of run it like a cheese slicer, I guess. Grippy bat. Bat grip. It took about 15, 20 minutes to cut all those little slices on both sides. I don't know how much of this we have, but this is leftover mahogany spray on wood stain. Is it dark enough and batty enough? Mm -hmm. Would you climb in there and live in it? This is why we're building a bat box. Take your little pry thingy and pry that off. And then take that off and then don't get it on you. Now take this, uh, hold on, take this and poke a hole in there. You know, like in every, like four, poke four holes in it. Just whack it a little bit with that, just enough to make a hole. call that a hole. Okay. Okay, so now that we got all of the parts cut and painted, it's time to assemble. Spin it and pull out. There you go. Then put one up here. Okay. All right, 
That's good. So when that's flushed just like that, that's perfect. Okay. And we pre-drill so it doesn't split the wood. So do that again. Perfect. Pretty soon you'll be building a house. Okay, switch. These, work, these little scaffolds make pretty good little workbenches too. Right. Okay, now put our little spacers, five inch spacer, five inch spacer, 10 inch on top of the vent hole. Where's the other 10 inch? On top of the vent hole. Then we'll do our first panel. And then there. Good. Mm -hmm. So we could do a whole another panel, but we don't have the wood for it. So we're just going to use these so they'll be able to fit in there. And there and here. Alright, let's put a screw in there to hold it down. Cool. All right. And then we'll make a half inch space. Actually, that should. It does hang over a little bit. But yeah, that's about. It's enough. extra. It is a little extra. Whatever. Extra um, protection. Well, we just need one friend hole, I guess. And, like, friend hole? Friend hole, so they can go through and be like, what's up, bro? Alright, so we forgot to put little holes in between these panels so they can crawl from one room to the other. Right here. They're supposed to be at the top. And they're supposed to be an inch and a half. Oh, that's big enough for a bat. Um, a fat bat, yeah, a fat bat can fit in there. Fat bat? Friend hole number two. Yay. Get any jaggies out of the holes so it doesn't poke your bat. Because no one likes a poked bat. Spot and they're like, okay, I'll just go on to the next area. And they're like, yay! And they can see all their friends. Oh. Started that already. And. Hold on, I gotta get this lined up. Wait. Now 
just the roof. No more pokies. Okay, so we had to make a new roof because our other one wasn't quite big enough. And we got it on and we caulked around the seams. And we're going to use a piece of roof flashing that's left over from our roof to cover this once we get this finished. So finishing touches on the roof and then we'll cut this metal and put that over the wood for a nice finish. All right, got our metal flashing cut for our roof. Got an extra tube of floor glue left from when we did the subfloor. So that's what we're doing. Instead of nailing through this, I'll just glue it on. project turned out pretty good it's nice and sturdy a lot of room in there for 50 plus bats we're trying to attract some mama bats to raise little babies and get a whole colony going in here I was glad to have found this piece of metal flashing this turned out real good for the for the roof and uh, now we got to go find a place to mount it so we want to keep it in the Sun so they stay warm enough and uh, you have to orient it south and they're pretty particular. So Marina and I will go find a place to hang this and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.